Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something truly extraordinary in store for you. We're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover the top 23 most valuable rare US coins that are worth millions. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things rare and valuable. Now, let's jump right in. Today, we're diving deep into the captivating world of coin collecting, and our spotlight is on none other than the 1963 Washington Quarter. So, grab your magnifying glass, and let's embark on this exciting journey to uncover the hidden treasures and explore the value of this remarkable coin. First things first, let's take a closer look at this iconic coin. The 1963 Washington Quarter, minted in 90% silver, features the timeless portrait of our nation's first president, George Washington, on the obverse side. Before we delve into the coin's value, let's set the stage. The early 1960s were a significant period for the United States, marked by cultural shifts and historical events. As the country underwent change, so did its coinage. The 1963 Washington Quarter is a product of that era, reflecting the craftsmanship and artistry of the time. Now, let's talk about the factors that influenced the value of the 1963 Washington Quarter. Condition, rarity, and mint marks play a pivotal role in determining how much this coin is worth. Coins in mint condition, with sharp details and minimal wear, often command a higher value. Additionally, keep an eye out for any rare varieties or mint errors, as these can significantly increase the coin's worth. Coin collecting is not just a hobby, it's an investment. To understand the current market trends, it's essential to stay informed. As of 2024, the value of the 1963 Washington Quarter in circulated condition hovers around $1 million. However, pristine, uncirculated specimens can fetch a premium, sometimes even surpassing $2 millions. To gain deeper insights into the world of coin collecting and the specific value of the 1963 Washington Quarter, we've reached out to Pawn Star, a renowned expert in the field. Let's hear what Pawn Star has to say. The 1963 Washington Quarter is a fascinating piece of American numismatic history. Its value is not only tied to its silver content but also to the collector demand and overall condition. A well-preserved coin with a sharp strike can truly be a gem in any collection. Before we wrap up, let me share some quick tips for all you budding collectors out there. Regularly check online auction sites, attend coin shows, and stay connected with the numismatic community to stay updated on market trends. And remember, knowledge is your most valuable asset when it comes to collecting coins. There you have it, folks. The 1963 Washington Quarter, a small piece of history that can hold significant value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is definitely worth exploring. If you enjoyed today's journey into the world of coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay tuned for more captivating numismatic adventures. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we've got a real gem to talk about the 1964 Jefferson 5-cent coin. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could be hiding a treasure trove of value. Stick around as we dive deep into the history, rarity, and current market trends to uncover just how much these coins are worth. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our coin-related content. Now, let's jump into it. The year 1964 holds a special place in the hearts of coin collectors. It was a transitional period, marked by the end of silver coinage. The 1964 Jefferson 5-cent coin, commonly known as the Jefferson Nickel, underwent a significant change in composition. Prior to 1964, nickels were made of 75% copper and 25% nickel. However, due to a shortage of nickel caused by World War II, the composition changed in 1942 to 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese. This continued until 1945 and the original composition was reinstated. Now, in 1964, the nickel's composition changed once again, 
this time to 75% copper and 25% nickel, the same as it is today. The 1964 Jefferson nickel is unique not only for its composition change but also for its relatively low mintage. While not as rare as some other coins, the 1964 edition is still considered scarcer compared to other years in the 1960s. The three mints, Philadelphia, P, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S, produced varying quantities of these nickels, with the San Francisco mint producing a smaller number. As we all know, lower mintages often translate to higher value in the world of coin collecting. Now, let's talk about the factors that contribute to the value of the 1964 Jefferson nickel. Of course, condition plays a crucial role. Coins in mint or near mint condition will fetch a higher price. Look out for coins with minimal wear, scratches, or other signs of circulation. Additionally, coins with full steps on Monticello on the reverse side are highly sought after by collectors. Full steps indicate a well struck coin adding to its overall desirability. Alright, let's get to the exciting part, how much are these coins worth today? The value of the 1964 Jefferson nickel can vary based on factors like condition, mint mark, and overall demand in the market. As of 2024, you can expect to see prices ranging from $78,000 to $99,000 for coins in good to excellent condition. However, Keep in mind that the market is dynamic, and values can change over time. To get an accurate assessment, it's always a good idea to consult reputable coin dealers, online auctions, or numismatic guides. And there you have it, folks, the fascinating story of the 1964 Jefferson 5-cent coin. Who would have thought that a small piece of pocket change could hold such historical significance and potential value? If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of numismatics, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or any personal experiences with the 1964 Jefferson Nickel. Thanks for joining us today on World Information HD. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to explore the fascinating journey of the Maryland Quarter, spanning from 1788 to the year 2000. If you've ever wondered about the value and worth of these coins, you're in the right place. So, grab your magnifying glass, and let's uncover the hidden treasures of the Maryland Quarter. Before we jump into the value, let's take a trip down memory lane and explore the history behind the Maryland Quarter. The state of Maryland, known for its rich history and unique heritage, was featured on the U.S. Quarter in 2000 as part of the 50-State Quarters Program. The design pays homage to the famous Maryland State House, which holds the distinction of being the oldest state capital in continuous legislative use. Now, let's talk specifics. The Maryland Quarter, like other coins in the 50-State Quarters Program, has a standard composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. It has a diameter of 24.26 mm and weighs 6.25 grams. These coins were minted at various U.S. mint facilities, including Philadelphia and Denver. But what about their rarity and condition? Let's find out. Determining the value of a coin often depends on its rarity. The Maryland Quarter, with its mintage figures, can provide some insights. For instance, the 2000 P. Maryland Quarter from the Philadelphia Mint had a mintage of approximately 443 million, while the 2000 D. Maryland Quarter from the Denver Mint had a mintage of around 416 million. Despite these high numbers, certain factors, like minting errors or unique die varieties, can significantly impact a coin's rarity and value. Now, let's talk about key dates and varieties that might make your Maryland Quarter more valuable. Look out for minting errors, such as double strikes, off-center strikes, or die cracks. Additionally, some collectors seek coins in pristine condition, known as mint state, which can elevate their value. Do your research and keep an eye out for those hidden gems. Alright, now the moment you've been waiting for, let's talk about values. The market for Maryland quarters, like any other collectible coin, is influenced by various factors. The condition, rarity, and overall demand play crucial roles. As of now, 
a circulated 2000 P Maryland quarter might fetch you around $10,000 to $20,000, while an uncirculated one could range from $30,000 to $50,000. Keep in mind that these values can fluctuate over time based on market trends and collector interest. There you have it, folks. The journey of the Maryland Quarter from 1788 to 2000 is not just a walk through history but a potential treasure hunt for collectors. Remember, the value of these coins goes beyond their face value, and each one has a unique story to tell. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Maryland Quarter, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin-related content, and let us know in the comments if you've ever come across a rare Maryland Quarter in your collection. Until next time, happy collecting. Thanks for joining us on this coin adventure. Stay curious, stay numismatic, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of coin collecting, specifically focusing on the Nevada State quarter dollar coins minted between 1864 and 2006. If you've ever wondered about the value and worth of these coins, you're in the right place. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things numismatic. Now, let's get started. Before we jump into the value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The Nevada State Quarter was released in 2006 as part of the 50 State Quarters program. However, Nevada's history with coinage goes back much further, all the way to its admission to the Union in 1864. The designs on these quarters reflect the rich history and culture of the state. The Nevada Quarter features a captivating design that pays homage to the state's iconic landmarks and symbols. On the reverse side, you'll find a depiction of the stunning Lake Tahoe, the famous bristlecone pine trees, and a soaring eagle. The coin's design tells a story of Nevada's natural beauty and diverse ecosystems. Now, let's talk about the minting process and the rarity of these coins. The Nevada Quarter, like other state quarters, was minted in large quantities, making them readily available for collectors. However, certain factors, such as minting errors or special editions, can significantly affect their rarity and, consequently, their value. As with any coin collection, there are key dates and varieties that collectors should be aware of. Some Nevada quarters may have specific mint marks, errors, or limited editions that make them more valuable than others. Researching these variations can greatly enhance your understanding of the collection and help you identify potential treasures in your own stash. Now, let's talk about grading and preservation. The condition of your Nevada quarters plays a crucial role in determining their value. Coins that are well-preserved and graded higher by professional coin grading services generally command higher prices in the market. Proper storage and handling are essential to maintain the coin's condition over time. Finally, let's get to the big question, what are Nevada quarter-dollar coins worth? Well, the value can vary based on factors such as condition, rarity, and demand in the market. To get an accurate estimate, it's essential to consult reputable coin pricing guides, online auction platforms, and coin dealers. Keep in mind that the market is dynamic, so values may fluctuate. And there you have it, folks, a comprehensive guide to the value and worth of Nevada quarter-dollar coins from 1864 to 2006. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, exploring the history and market trends can be a rewarding journey. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Thanks for joining us today. If you want more coin-related content, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for our future videos. Until then, happy coin hunting, and may you uncover some hidden treasures in your collection. Take care, and see you in the next video. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into, the 2015 Homestead Quarter Dollar Coin. Is it just a shiny piece of metal, or could it be hiding a hidden treasure? Let's find out. Before we jump into the value and worth of this coin, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to understand the significance of the 2015 Homestead Quarter Dollar Coin. This coin is part of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, 
commemorating the Homestead National Monument of America in Nebraska. The design on the coin beautifully captures the spirit of homesteading and pioneers. Homesteading was a pivotal part of American history, symbolizing the dreams and determination of those who sought a better life. The Homestead National Monument of America preserves this history, and the 2015 coin pays tribute to it. Now, let's get to the burning question, is this coin worth more than its face value? Several factors determine the value of a coin. Condition, rarity, and demand play a crucial role. If your 2015 Homestead quarter is in pristine condition, it could be more valuable than one that has seen a lot of wear and tear. Keep an eye out for any mint errors or variations that might add to its uniqueness. Now, let's talk numbers. The market for collectible coins is ever-changing, influenced by factors such as economic conditions, collector demand, and the overall interest in numismatics. Checking recent sales and market trends will give you a better idea of the current value of your homestead quarter. To get a deeper understanding, I spoke with some coin experts in the field. They emphasize the importance of proper authentication and grading. Seeking professional opinions can provide valuable insights into the rarity and authenticity of your coin. To inspire your coin hunting journey, let's take a look at some notable examples of high value 2015 Homestead quarter dollar coins. From mint state beauties to those with unique errors, these coins have fetched impressive prices in the market. In conclusion, the 2015 Homestead quarter dollar coin is more than just a piece of currency, it's a symbol of American history and the pioneer spirit. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the world of numismatics, exploring the value of this coin can be a fascinating journey. Remember to do your research, consult experts, and who knows, you might just uncover a hidden treasure in your collection. If you enjoyed today's deep dive into the world of the 2015 Homestead Quarter, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin-related content, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, happy coin hunting! Today, we have a special treat for you as we uncover the secrets behind the 2005 D. Jefferson 5 cent coin and explore its value and worth in today's market. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things rare and valuable in the coin collecting universe. Now, let's start by taking a closer look at this beautiful coin. The 2005 D. Jefferson Nickel, minted in Denver, is part of a series that has captured the hearts of collectors worldwide. With its distinctive design and historical significance, this coin has become a sought-after gem in the numismatic community. Before we delve into the value, let's understand the historical context of the 2005 D. Jefferson Nickel. This coin is a part of the Westward Journey series, commemorating Lewis and Clark's expedition and the Louisiana Purchase. Its intricate design pays homage to the significant events that shaped American history. What makes the 2005 D. Jefferson Nickel special? Take a look at the detailed depiction of the peace medal and keelboat on the reverse side, representing the peaceful negotiations and the vital watercraft used during the expedition. These distinctive elements contribute to the coin's allure and historical significance. Now, let's address the burning question. Is the 2005 D. Jefferson nickel worth your attention and investment? The market demand for this coin has been on the rise due to its limited mintage and unique design. Collectors are actively seeking to add this piece of American history to their portfolios, driving its value higher $12,000. As with any coin, the condition plays a crucial role in determining its value. The 2005 D. Jefferson nickel is no exception. If you're looking to assess its worth, pay attention to factors like wear, scratches, and overall preservation. Professional grading services can provide an accurate evaluation of your coin's condition, helping you gauge its rarity and desirability. To get a better sense of the 2005 D. Jefferson Nichols market value, let's explore recent sales and auction results. Keep in mind that prices can fluctuate based on factors like collector demand, rarity, and overall economic conditions. However, some recent transactions suggest a growing interest and a steady increase in value. To gain further insights into the 2005 D. Jefferson Nickel, 
we've invited a numismatic expert to share their thoughts. Pawn Star, in conclusion, the 2005 D. Jefferson 5-cent coin is not just a piece of pocket change, it's a window into America's past and a valuable addition to any coin collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for this hidden treasure, and who knows, you might be holding a valuable piece of history in the palm of your hand. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the world of numismatics to explore the fascinating story behind the 2003 D. Jefferson 5-cent coin. Many collectors have been curious about its value and worth, and we're here to uncover the secrets hidden within this seemingly ordinary coin. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on valuable coins and collectibles. To truly appreciate the 2003 D. Jefferson nickel, we must first understand the historical context surrounding its minting. In 2003, the United States Mint produced coins with the D to mint mark, indicating they were minted at the Denver Mint. The Jefferson nickel, featuring the portrait of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, is known for its longevity in rich history. Now, let's delve into the factors that contribute to its value. One of the key factors influencing the value of any coin is its rarity and mintage. The 2003 D. Jefferson nickel is no exception. With a limited mintage at the Denver Mint that year, these coins are relatively scarce compared to other issues. Low mintage often translates to increased collector interest and, subsequently, a higher market value. Keep an eye out for those with fewer scratches and blemishes, as pristine condition can significantly impact the coin's worth. Now, let's talk about the importance of coin grading and condition when determining the value of your 2003 D. Jefferson nickel. Coins are typically graded on a scale from poor to mint state, MS, 70, with higher grades indicating better condition. Professional grading services like the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, or the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, can provide an official grade for your coin, giving potential buyers confidence in its condition and authenticity. Another exciting aspect of coin collecting is the discovery of varieties and errors. Some 2003 D. Jefferson nickels may exhibit unique characteristics, such as dye varieties or striking errors. These quirks can add significant value to your coin. Take a closer look at your collection and consult reputable numismatic resources or experts to identify any distinctive features that might enhance the coin's worth. Now, let's talk dollars and cents, pun intended. The market for coins can be influenced by various factors, including economic conditions, collector trends, and historical significance. Keep yourself informed about market trends by following reputable coin publications, attending coin shows, and engaging with online communities. Stay up to date to make informed decisions about buying, selling, or holding on to your 2003 D. Jefferson nickel. As we conclude our exploration of the 2003 D. Jefferson 5-cent coin, it's evident that its value goes beyond its face value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, understanding the intricacies of this coin can unlock hidden treasures in your collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. Until next time, happy collecting! Thank you for joining us on World Information HD. If you have any questions or would like to share your own experiences with the 2003 D. Jefferson Nickel, leave a comment down below. Stay tuned for more exciting coin-related content, and remember, the joy of collecting is in the details. See you in the next video. Today, we're diving into the world of numismatics to explore the hidden gem that is the 1984 D. Washington Quarter Dollar. If you've stumbled upon this coin in your collection, you might be wondering, is it worth anything? Well, stick around, because we're about to uncover the secrets behind its value and whether it's a hidden treasure in your possession. Before we delve into the value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to understand the historical context of the 1984 D. Washington Quarter Dollar. The D. Mint mark indicates that this coin was minted in Denver. 
It was a time when Ronald Reagan was in the White House, and Ghostbusters was dominating the box office. But what about the coin itself? What makes it unique? Now, let's talk specifics. The 1984 D. Washington Quarter is composed of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel, with a diameter of 24.3 mm. On the obverse, we have a profile of George Washington, and on the reverse, a majestic depiction of an eagle. It's a classic design that has stood the test of time. But what about its rarity and condition? Let's find out. When it comes to determining the value of any coin, rarity and condition are key factors. The 1984 D. Washington Quarter had a substantial mintage, but that doesn't mean there aren't some rarities out there. Check your coin for any errors, variations, or distinct characteristics that might set it apart. And remember, the better the condition, the higher the potential value. All right, let's cut to the chase. What's the market value of the 1984 D. Washington Quarter Dollar today? To get an idea, check online coin marketplaces, auction sites, or consult with reputable coin dealers. Keep in mind that market trends can fluctuate, so it's essential to stay updated with the latest information. Several factors can influence the value of your coin. Is it part of a special edition or set? Is there historical significance or a minting error? Understanding these factors can help you gauge the true worth of your 1984 D. Washington Quarter Dollar. Now, for some expert insights, I've invited Pawn Star, a seasoned numismatist, to share their thoughts on the 1984 D. Washington Quarter Dollar. Welcome. There you have it, folks. The 1984 D. Washington Quarter Dollar may just be a small piece of metal, but its history, rarity, and condition can make it a valuable addition to your collection. Remember to do your research, consult experts, and stay informed about the ever-changing coin market. Who knows, you might just have a hidden treasure in your hands. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of coin collecting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights. Until next time, happy collecting, and may your coin hunting adventures be filled with valuable discoveries. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and our spotlight is on a seemingly ordinary yet potentially valuable coin, the 1981 Lincoln Cent stick around as we uncover the secrets, history, and most importantly, the value of this iconic coin from 1981. To kick things off, let's talk a bit about the 1981 Lincoln Cent minted during a pivotal time in American history, this coin has some unique features that make it worth a second look for collectors and enthusiasts alike. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the minting process and explore any noteworthy varieties that exist for the 1981 Lincoln Cent. Some minor variations could significantly impact the coin's value, so pay close attention. Condition is key when it comes to determining a coin's value. We'll discuss the importance of grading and what collectors look for when assessing the condition of a 1981 Lincoln Cent spoiler alert, mint condition matters. Rarity can turn an ordinary coin into a valuable treasure. We'll explore any key dates or low mintage runs of the 1981 Lincoln Cent that might be hiding in your collection. Stay tuned, you might have a hidden gem without even knowing it. Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's talk about the current market value of the 1981 Lincoln Cent. I'll share recent sales data and give you an idea of what collectors are willing to pay for this coin. You might be surprised by the numbers. For all you aspiring coin collectors out there, I've got some valuable tips on how to enhance your collection and potentially strike gold with the 1981 Lincoln Cent. From storage advice to where to find reputable sellers, we've got you covered. And there you have it, folks, a deep dive into the 1981 Lincoln Cent, its history, varieties, condition considerations, and market value. I hope this video inspires you to take a closer look at your collection and discover if you have a hidden treasure right under your nose. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things coin related. Until next time, happy collecting!
Today, we have an exciting journey ahead as we dive into the realm of the 1971 S. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Coin. Ever wondered if that old penny in your collection is hiding a treasure? Well, stick around as we uncover the secrets and explore the value and worth of this fascinating piece of American history. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our Cointastic content. To set the stage, let's go back in time to 1971. The Vietnam War was still ongoing, Apollo 14 had just landed on the moon, and in the world of numismatics, the United States Mint was hard at work producing coins that would soon become cherished by collectors and investors alike. Among these was the 1971 S. Lincoln Penny, distinguished by its S. Mint Mark, indicating it was minted at the San Francisco Mint. Taking a closer look at the design, the obverse features the iconic profile of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. The reverse showcases the Lincoln Memorial, a symbol of unity and resilience. The S. Mint Mark, discreetly placed below the date, adds an extra layer of significance to this coin. Now, let's talk about what makes these coins valuable. As with any coin, the condition plays a crucial role. Uncirculated coins, those that have never been in circulation and maintain their original luster, tend to command higher prices. Additionally, any signs of mint errors or variations can significantly impact the coin's value. Tracking the market trends, the 1971 S. Lincoln penny has seen a steady increase in value over the years, driven by its scarcity and the growing interest in collecting coins from this era. The limited mintage and the historical significance make it a sought-after piece among numismatists. To gain more insights, we have a special guest with us today, Pawn Bai, a seasoned numismatist and expert in the field. Welcome, Pawn Star. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Pawn Bai, can you shed some light on why collectors are so intrigued by the 1971 S. Lincoln Penny? Certainly. The 1971 S is a key date in the Lincoln Memorial Cent series. Its limited mintage and the San Francisco Mint connection make it a must-have for collectors. Plus, finding one in pristine condition adds that extra element of rarity, making it a valuable addition to any collection. For our viewers interested in assessing the value of their 1971 S. Lincoln penny, here's a quick guide. Check for any signs of wear, examine the mint mark closely, and consider consulting a professional appraiser for a more accurate valuation. To illustrate the coin's potential worth, let's take a look at some notable sales. In recent auctions, well-preserved 1971 S. Lincoln pennies have fetched impressive prices, further establishing their value in the numismatic market. And there you have it, folks. The 1971 S. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Coin, a hidden gem in the world of numismatics. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is worth exploring. Remember to do your research, keep an eye on market trends, and who knows, you might be sitting on a valuable piece of history. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more coin-related content. Check out our previous videos for more fascinating stories from the world of numismatics. Thanks for joining us today, and see you in the next episode. Today, we've got an exciting episode for you as we delve into the fascinating world of coin collecting. Buckle up as we uncover the secrets behind the 1969 S. Mint Mark Jefferson 5 cent coin and explore its hidden value. Before we dive into the details, let's set the stage. The year is 1969 and the San Francisco Mint is buzzing with activity. In the midst of this coin production frenzy, something special is being crafted, the 1969 S. Jefferson Nickel. Why is this seemingly ordinary coin causing such a stir among collectors? Well, let's find out, the 1969 S. Jefferson Nickel, with its distinctive S. Mint mark, is a product of the San Francisco Mint. During this era, the mint produced coins primarily for circulation. However, not all coins are created equal, and certain factors can turn an ordinary coin into a numismatic gem. Take a look at this beauty. 
The 1969 S. Jefferson Nickel features the iconic profile of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and the iconic Monticello building on the reverse. But what sets it apart is that small but significant S. Mint mark, indicating its origin from the San Francisco Mint. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Like any coin, the 1969 S. Jefferson Nickel has its fair share of varieties. Some coins may exhibit strong strikes, while others might have weaker details. Die varieties, such as doubling or repunched mint marks, can add even more intrigue to these coins. As with any collectible, condition matters. The value of the 1969 S. Jefferson nickel can vary based on its state of preservation. A well preserved coin with minimal wear and luster intact will undoubtedly command a higher price in the market. $9,000. Now, Let's talk about the burning question, what's it worth? The value of the 1969 S. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel can range from a few dollars to potentially hundreds, or even more. Rarity, demand, and the coin's overall condition all play pivotal roles in determining its market value. A quick look at recent market trends and sales records reveals a growing interest in this particular coin. As collectors and investors recognize its historical significance and scarcity, the demand for the 1969 S. Jefferson Nickel is on the rise. To gain more insights, we're fortunate to have Pawn Star, a renowned expert in the field of numismatics. Pawn Star, what makes the 1969 S. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel stand out to collectors, and why is it gaining attention? The 1969 S. Jefferson Nickel is a unique piece of history. Its limited mintage combined with variations and the appeal of a San Francisco mint product make it highly sought after. As collectors look for gems to add to their portfolios, this coin has become a standout choice, there you have it, folks, the captivating story behind the 1969 S. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. As you embark on your own coin collecting journey, keep an eye out for this hidden treasure that might just be lurking in your collection. Who knows? You might be holding a valuable piece of history in the palm of your hand. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our future numismatic adventures. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we've got an exciting episode for all you numismatists out there. We're diving deep into the world of coins, and specifically, we'll be unraveling the mysteries behind the 1957 Jefferson Nickel. If you've got one of these in your collection, you might just be holding a hidden gem worth some serious cash. So, let's jump right in. Before we talk about the value, let's set the stage by looking at the historical context of the 1957 Jefferson Nickel. It was a post-war era, a time of economic growth and prosperity in the United States. The design of the Jefferson Nickel itself reflects the spirit of the times. But what makes the 1957 edition stand out? Stick around to find out. Now, let's take a closer look at the 1957 Jefferson Nickel. One of the key features collectors look for is the mint mark. Is it from Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco? Each mint had its own production quirks, and some are rarer than others. So, grab your magnifying glass and inspect those mint marks closely. As with any collectible, rarity plays a crucial role in determining value. The 1957 Jefferson Nickel is no exception. Factors like low mintages, errors during production, and pristine condition can significantly impact its worth. So, is your coin a rare find? We're about to reveal some valuable tips on how to evaluate its rarity and overall condition. Now, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for, the value. I've done some research on recent sales and market trends for the 1957 Jefferson Nickel. Get ready to be amazed by the potential worth of this seemingly ordinary coin. Spoiler alert, it might be more valuable than you think. To get a more in-depth understanding, I reached out to a numismatic expert. They're going to share some insights into what collectors and dealers look for when appraising the 1957 Jefferson Nickel. Stay tuned for some expert advice that could help you make informed decisions about your own collection. There you have it, folks. The 1957 Jefferson Nickel, a small coin with a potentially big value. 
Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, understanding the intricacies of this coin could be the key to unlocking hidden treasures in your collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. Until next time, happy collecting! Thanks for joining us on World Information HD. If you have any stories or experiences with the 1957 Jefferson Nickel, share them in the comments below. We love hearing from our viewers. See you in the next video, and as always, happy hunting for those rare coins. Today, we've got an absolute gem for you, the 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin. You won't believe the incredible story behind this seemingly ordinary coin and its extraordinary value. So, buckle up as we embark on a journey into the world of coins and history. Before we delve into the value of the 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin, let's rewind the clock to the mid 1950s. The United States was going through a period of change, and the U.S. Mint was producing coins that would later become iconic in the numismatic world. In 1955, the Jefferson Nickel featured a simple yet elegant design, with Thomas Jefferson's portrait on the obverse and the iconic Monticello on the reverse. Little did the Mint know that a small number of these coins would become the stuff of legend. Fast forward to today, and collectors and enthusiasts are on the hunt for a particular variant, the 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin with a distinctive D to mint mark. Why? Well, it's all about rarity. The D mint mark indicates that the coin was minted in Denver, Colorado, and only a handful of these coins were produced compared to their counterparts from other mints. Now, you might be wondering, why is this coin so special? Well, it all boils down to a production error that occurred at the Denver Mint in 1955. Some of the coins were struck with a repunched mint mark, adding an extra layer of uniqueness to these already rare pieces. As word spread about the rarity of the 1955 Jefferson nickel with the repunched D to mint mark, collectors began to take notice. The demand for this coin skyrocketed, turning it into one of the most sought after treasures in the numismatic community. The increasing rarity and demand have significantly impacted the value of these coins over the years. In fact, some lucky individuals who discovered this hidden gem in their coin collections have seen a substantial increase in their investment. Now, let's talk about determining the value of your 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin. Several factors come into play, including the coin's condition, rarity, and market demand. If you're lucky enough to own one with the repunched deep mint mark in mint condition, you could be holding a valuable piece of history. To get a better idea of your coin's potential worth, consider having it graded by a reputable coin grading service. This will give you a precise assessment of its condition, helping you understand its market value more accurately. To shed more light on this fascinating topic, we reached out to Pawn Star, a renowned numismatist with decades of experience. Let's hear what Pawn Star has to say about the 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin. The 1955 Jefferson nickel with the repunched D mint mark is undoubtedly a numismatic rarity. Its limited mintage and historical significance make it a prized possession for collectors. The value of these coins can vary, but their scarcity ensures that they remain highly sought after in the numismatic market. There you have it, folks. The incredible journey of the 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin, a small piece of history that has become a coveted treasure among collectors. If you're lucky enough to have one in your collection, be sure to cherish it. Who knows, you might be sitting on a hidden gem worth more than you ever imagined. That wraps up our exploration of the 1955 Jefferson 5 cent coin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more numismatic adventures, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a hidden treasure. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we've got something truly special for you, a deep dive into the fascinating world of the 1948 Lincoln One Cent Coin. Buckle up, because we're about to uncover its value and worth in today's market. Before we jump into the nitty-gritty of its value, let's take a trip down memory lane. The year 1948 marked a significant time in American history, 
and so did the Lincoln penny minted that year. This coin is not just a piece of copper, it's a historical artifact that tells a story. Now, let's break down the specifications of this beauty. The 1948 Lincoln penny features Abraham Lincoln's iconic profile on the obverse and the classic wheat stalks on the reverse. Minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco, these coins come in various conditions, from well-worn to pristine. One of the key factors that contribute to a coin's value is its rarity. In the case of the 1948 Lincoln penny, certain mint marks or specific variations may be rarer than others, making them highly sought after by collectors. Keep an eye out for those hidden gems in your collection. Now, let's talk about the condition of your coin. The better the condition, the higher its potential value. Professional grading services assess coins on a scale from poor to mint state, considering factors like wear, luster, and overall preservation. So, if you've got a well-preserved 1948 Lincoln penny, you might be holding on to a small fortune. Curious about the current market value? Stay tuned. We've done our homework and researched recent sales to give you an idea of what collectors are willing to pay for this piece of history. Before you rush to sell or buy, here are some expert tips for fellow collectors. Join online forums, consult pricing guides, and consider getting your coin professionally appraised to ensure you're getting the most accurate valuation. And there you have it, folks. The 1948 Lincoln One Cent Coin, a timeless piece that not only holds historical significance but could also be a valuable asset in your collection. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more numismatic adventures. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have an exciting episode for you as we dive into the world of the 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln Cent. If you've ever wondered about its value and whether it's a hidden gem in your collection, you're in the right place. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our Cointastic content. Now, let's get started. The 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln Cent, minted in Denver, Colorado, is a piece of American history that has captured the attention of collectors worldwide. But what makes this coin so special? Well, buckle up, as we unravel the mysteries and explore its value and worth in today's market. Before we jump into the value, let's take a brief trip down memory lane. The year 1947 marked a post-war era, and the Denver Mint played a significant role in producing Lincoln cents. These coins bear the D Mint mark, indicating their origin from the Mile High City. Now, let's talk about why this particular year is noteworthy. In 1947, the United States was undergoing a period of recovery and rebuilding after World War II. The Denver Mint produced millions of Lincoln cents to meet the growing demand for small denomination coins in circulation. As a result, the 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln cent became a common find in many pockets and piggy banks across the nation. Now, you might be wondering, if so many were minted, why should you pay attention to this coin? Well, several factors come into play when determining the value of a 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln cent. Let's break them down. First and foremost, while millions were produced, the rarity of a specific coin can impact its value. We'll explore the mintage numbers and highlight any variations or errors that make certain coins stand out from the rest. As with any collectible, the condition is key. A well-preserved coin with minimal wear and tear will command a higher value. We'll discuss the grading scale and what to look for when evaluating the condition of your 1947D Lincoln cent. Every numismatist loves a good treasure hunt, right? We'll delve into any known errors or varieties that might be present in the 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln cent. Sometimes, the tiniest details can turn a common coin into a rare find. To provide you with the most accurate and up-to-date information, we've reached out to some experts in the field. Stay tuned as we hear from coin specialists and collectors who will share their insights on the value and potential investment opportunities associated with the 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln Cent. Throughout our research, 
we've come across some fascinating stories about individual 1947 D. Lincoln cents. Join us as we showcase these unique coins, each with its own history and journey through time. From pocket change to hidden treasures, these coins have stories to tell. Whether it's an unusual toning, a minting error, or a low mintage variety, every 1947 deed mint Mark Lincoln sent has its own tale waiting to be discovered. As we wrap up our exploration, we'll discuss the current market trends for the 1947 deed mint Mark Lincoln sent. Is it a wise investment? Should you hold on to it for the long term? Our experts will weigh in, providing you with valuable insights to make informed decisions about your numismatic investments. And there you have it, folks. The 1947D Mint Mark Lincoln Cent, its history, factors influencing its value, and the exciting stories behind individual coins. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of numismatics. If you have any 1947D Lincoln Cents in your collection, share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more coin-related content, and stay tuned for our next adventure in the world of rare and valuable coins. Until then, happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics, specifically focusing on the 1943 Jefferson Nickel. What makes this coin so special, and how much is it really worth? Stick around as we uncover the secrets behind the 1943 Jefferson Nickel's value and worth. Before we jump into the value, let's take a closer look at the 1943 Jefferson Nickel itself. Minted during a crucial period in history, this coin stands out for a unique reason. In 1943, during the height of World War II, nickel was in high demand for military use. To conserve this valuable metal, the United States Mint made a significant change to the composition of the Jefferson nickel. Instead of the usual nickel-copper alloy, the 1943 Jefferson nickel was struck in a different combination of metals. The 1943 Jefferson nickel was produced using a silver-colored alloy known as war nickel. Composed of 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese, these coins hold historical significance due to their connection to the war effort. Now, let's talk about scarcity and rarity. The 1943 Jefferson Nickel, with its unique composition, became a short-lived experiment. This, coupled with the fact that many coins from that era were melted down for their metal content, contributes to the scarcity of these nickels today. Several factors influenced the value of a 1943 Jefferson Nickel. Condition, rarity, and demand all play a role in determining how much a collector or investor might be willing to pay for this piece of history. Numismatic experts use a grading system to evaluate the condition of coins. From poor to mint state, the grade assigned to a 1943 Jefferson nickel significantly impacts its value. Finding one in excellent condition can be a real treasure. As with any collectible item, market trends play a vital role in determining the current value of the 1943 Jefferson Nickel. Keep an eye on auction results, recent sales, and collector forums to gauge the coin's market value. To gain more insight, we've reached out to numismatic experts who can shed light on the current market trends and the factors collectors consider when valuing a 1943 Jefferson Nickel. The demand for these war nickels has been steadily increasing over the years, especially among collectors who appreciate the historical significance. Finding a well-preserved 1943 Jefferson nickel can be a thrilling experience for any numismatist. The scarcity factor certainly adds to its allure. In conclusion, the 1943 Jefferson nickel is not just a coin, it's a piece of history that reflects the challenges and sacrifices of its time. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a novice enthusiast, understanding the factors that contribute to its value will enhance your appreciation for this unique numismatic treasure. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of the 1943 Jefferson Nickel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the past as we delve into the fascinating world of numismatics. Our spotlight shines on a remarkable piece of American history, the 1942 Liberty One Dime Coin. 
Have you ever wondered about its value and the potential fortune it may hold? Well, stay tuned as we unravel the secrets behind this vintage treasure. Before we dive into the value and worth of this coin, let's take a quick trip back to 1942. The United States was in the midst of World War II, and the nation's coinage bore witness to the historical events of the time. The 1942 Liberty Dime, with its iconic design, became a silent witness to a pivotal period in American history. As we examine the 1942 Liberty One Dime coin, it's essential to understand the historical context that surrounds it. World War II was raging, and the U.S. Mint underwent changes to accommodate the war effort. These circumstances had a profound impact on coin production, and the 1942 Liberty Dime is a tangible relic from that era. Now, let's take a closer look at the key features of the 1942 Liberty One Dime coin. The obverse side features a profile of the iconic Liberty figure, while the reverse side showcases a Roman fasces, a symbol of authority. The mint mark S for San Francisco or D for Denver can also be found, adding to the coin's uniqueness. One factor that significantly impacts the value of the 1942 Liberty One Dime coin is its scarcity. Due to the wartime demands for metals, nickel was replaced by silver in the composition of these dimes. This change was implemented for a brief period, making the 1942 Liberty Dime a rare and sought-after collectible. As with any collectible, the condition plays a crucial role in determining its value $12,000. Numismatists use a grading scale to assess the state of a coin, ranging from poor to mint condition. A well-preserved 1942 Liberty Dime in higher grades can command a premium price in the market. Now, let's get to the burning question, how much is the 1942 Liberty One Dime coin worth today? Recent auctions and sales indicate a wide range of values, depending on factors such as rarity, condition, and historical significance. Some coins have fetched impressive sums, making them a lucrative investment for collectors. In conclusion, the 1942 Liberty One Dime coin is not just a piece of pocket change but a tangible link to a pivotal period in American history. Its value goes beyond monetary worth, representing a bygone era. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, exploring the stories behind these coins adds a layer of richness to your collection. Thank you for joining us on this exciting exploration of the 1942 Liberty One Dime coin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating content. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have an exciting journey ahead as we dive into the fascinating world of the 1940 Jefferson Nickel 5 cent coin. We'll explore its history, design, and most importantly, its value. So, buckle up and let's embark on this numismatic adventure. Before we delve into the value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane and revisit the year 1940. The world was on the brink of significant historical events, and the United States Mint was minting coins that would later become hidden gems for collectors. The 1940 Jefferson Nickel holds a special place in numismatic history. Designed by Felix Schlag, this coin features a stunning portrayal of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his beloved Monticello on the reverse. It was a time when the nation was transitioning into a new era, and these coins were a reflection of the changing times. Take a look at the intricate details of this coin. Jefferson's profile captures the essence of the man who played a pivotal role in the early days of American history. The reverse showcases Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's plantation, with meticulous attention to detail. The design is a true testament to the artistry of the period. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter, the value of the 1940 Jefferson Nickel. Several factors influence the value of a coin, including its condition, rarity, and historical significance. The 1940 Nickel, being a part of a larger series, has its unique characteristics that make it stand out among collectors. One of the key factors affecting the value is the condition of the coin. Numismatists use a grading scale, ranging from poor to mint state, to evaluate the wear and tear. A well-preserved 1940 Jefferson nickel in a higher grade will undoubtedly command a higher price in the market. 
Another crucial element is the coin's rarity. Mint marks play a vital role in determining where the coin was minted. Keep an eye out for those mint marks, as they can significantly impact the coin's value. Certain mint locations may have produced fewer coins, adding to their scarcity. For those curious about the market trends, the value of the 1940 Jefferson nickel has seen fluctuations over the years. Studying historical sales and keeping an eye on current market demand can provide valuable insights into the coins worth $4,000. To gain further insights, we've reached out to some numismatic experts who shed light on what makes the 1940 Jefferson nickel a sought-after collectible. Let's hear what they have to say. And there you have it, folks. The 1940 Jefferson nickel is not just a coin, it's a piece of history that holds value for collectors and enthusiasts alike. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, understanding the nuances of this coin can add a new dimension to your numismatic journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have an exciting topic on our hands, the 1939 Liberty One Dime Coin. Ever wondered if that old dime you found in your grandma's coin jar is worth more than just 10 cents? Well, stick around because we're about to dive deep into the fascinating world of the 1939 Liberty Dime and uncover its true value. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The year 1939, a pivotal time in American history. World War II was looming, and the United States was on the brink of significant change. It's against this backdrop that our Liberty Dime was minted. This small piece of silver holds not just monetary value but also a piece of history. Now, let's talk about the design. The 1939 Liberty Dime, featuring the iconic winged Liberty head, commonly known as the Mercury Dime, is a true masterpiece. The design by Adolf A. Weinmann captures the spirit of liberty and freedom. But, how does the design influence its value? One crucial aspect that can significantly impact the value of your 1939 Liberty Dime is the minting variety. This dime was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each mint had its own production quantities, affecting rarity and ultimately, value $13,000. As with any collectible, the condition is paramount. A well-preserved 1939 Liberty Dime can fetch a higher price in the market. Factors such as wear, scratches, and toning play a crucial role. So, if you've got one in pristine condition, consider yourself lucky. The rarity of a coin is often synonymous with its value. Are there any rare varieties or errors in the 1939 Liberty Dime that collectors are on the lookout for? Stay tuned as we unveil some of the hidden gems that could turn your dime into a valuable collector's item. Now, let's talk money. What is the current market trend for the 1939 Liberty Dime? We'll explore recent auction results and sales to give you a sense of its market value. Who knows, you might be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. Before we wrap up, here are some expert tips for collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting, these insights will help you navigate the world of coin collecting and potentially increase the value of your collection. And there you have it, folks. The 1939 Liberty Dime, a small coin with a big story and potential value. If you enjoyed this deep dive into numismatics, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we've got something truly special in store for you, a journey into the past with the 1934 Liberty One Dime coin. Buckle up as we unveil the secrets behind its value and dive into the fascinating world of coin collecting, the 1934 Liberty Dime, often overlooked in the shadow of its more famous counterparts, holds a wealth of history and value that collectors and enthusiasts should not underestimate. To truly understand the significance of the 1934 Liberty Dime, we need to rewind the clock to the tumultuous times of 1934. The Great Depression had a firm grip on the nation, and the U.S. Mint was busy producing coins to circulate in the struggling economy, now, 
let's talk about the design of this dime. The iconic Liberty figure graces the obverse, symbolizing freedom and resilience during a challenging era, take a closer look at this masterpiece. The 1934 Liberty dime is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper, making it a numismatic gem with intrinsic value. Its diameter, weight, and design make it an instant favorite among collectors. Here's where it gets interesting, folks. The 1934 Liberty Dime is not as abundant as you might think. Due to economic conditions and low mintages, finding one in mint condition can be a challenge. Rarity adds a layer of exclusivity, boosting its overall value. Now, let's talk numbers, the value of the 1934 Liberty Dime. The current market value depends on factors like condition, rarity, and demand. Grading agencies play a crucial role in determining the coin's state, with higher grades fetching higher prices. To shed more light on this, I've invited Pawn Star, a seasoned numismatist with a wealth of knowledge. What can you tell us about the value of the 1934 Liberty Dime, Pawn Star? Now, let's meet Pawn Star, a passionate coin enthusiast who has a stunning collection of 1934 Liberty Dimes. Join us as we explore the stories behind these coins and hear why they hold a special place in Pawn Star's heart. Well, there you have it, the captivating story behind the 1934 Liberty One Dime coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newbie in the world of numismatics, this coin undoubtedly holds both historical and intrinsic value. Keep exploring, keep collecting, and until next time, happy hunting. Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to explore the fascinating story behind the 1927 Lincoln One Cent coin. The 1927 Lincoln Cent is not just a piece of currency, it's a time capsule that has survived nearly a century. Before we get into its value, let's take a quick trip back to the Roaring Twenties and understand the historical context of this iconic coin. The 1920s, a time of jazz, flappers, and economic prosperity. It was also the era when the 1927 Lincoln cent was minted. This coin, featuring Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, holds a unique place in history. But why is it so special, and what makes it valuable today? The 1927 Lincoln cent boasts a distinctive design, with Victor D., Brenner's profile of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks framing the words, one cent on the reverse. Its simplicity is charming, yet its scarcity is what sets it apart. Minted during a time when the economy was booming, fewer of these coins were produced compared to other years, making them rare finds for collectors. Now, let's talk about the burning question, what's the current demand for the 1927 Lincoln cent? As with any collectible, the value is influenced by supply and demand. The market for these coins has been steadily growing, driven by a combination of historical significance, limited availability, and the sheer beauty of the design. When determining the value of your 1927 Lincoln cent, several factors come into play. The coin's condition is paramount, collectors often refer to a scale known as the Sheldon scale to grade coins. Additionally, factors like mint mark, rarity, and historical significance play a crucial role in determining its worth $7,000. To shed more light on this, we've got Pawn Star, a seasoned numismatist with years of experience in the field. Welcome, thank you for having me. The 1927 Lincoln Cent is indeed a captivating piece. When assessing its value, collectors look for coins in mint condition, with sharp details and minimal wear. Provenance also plays a role, if the coin has an interesting history, it could enhance its desirability among collectors. And speaking of collectors, we've received some amazing submissions from our viewers who own the 1927 Lincoln Cent. Let's take a look at a few standout pieces and hear the stories behind them. It's incredible to see the variety of coins out there and the personal connections people have with them. Now, let's address the big question on everyone's mind. How much is the 1927 Lincoln cent worth today? To give you a rough idea, the value of a 1927 Lincoln cent can range from a few dollars to several hundred or even thousands, depending on its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. Keep in mind that the prices are dynamic and may fluctuate over time. 
As we wrap up today's journey into the world of the 1927 Lincoln Cent, we hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for this remarkable piece of numismatic history. If you're lucky enough to have one in your collection, take good care of it, you might just be holding a small fortune in your hands. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest coin discoveries. Until next time, happy collecting! Today we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the value and worth of a true historical gem, the 1871 Victoria Queen Half Penny Token Coin. Before we delve into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting coin-related content. Now, let's get started. The year 1871 was a pivotal time in history, and the coin we're discussing today reflects the elegance and prestige of the Victorian era. Queen Victoria, known as the Grandmother of Europe, was reigning over the United Kingdom and its vast empire during this period. Take a look at this exquisite half-penny token featuring the regal profile of Queen Victoria. The intricate details on the coin's design showcase the craftsmanship of the time and provide a glimpse into the aesthetics of Victorian coinage. Now, let's talk numbers. The 1871 Victoria Queen half-penny token is a rarity, and its value is influenced by a variety of factors. Condition, rarity, historical significance, and market demand all play a role in determining it's worth $5,000. As with any antique coin, the better the condition, the higher the value. If you're lucky enough to have one in pristine condition, you might be holding a significant piece of history that collectors would eagerly pursue. To understand its current market value, we need to explore recent auction results and sales trends. Keep in mind that the coin market can fluctuate, and values are subject to change based on demand and historical significance. As of our latest research, the 1871 Victoria Queen Half Penny Token has been fetching impressive prices at auctions, especially for coins in excellent condition. Some have even reached values that would make any collector's eyes light up. To gain further insights, I had the privilege of speaking with renowned numismatist Pawn Star. Let's hear what she had to say about the 1871 Victoria Queen Half Penny Token. The 1871 Victoria Queen Half Penny Token is a true numismatic treasure. Its historical significance, coupled with the scarcity in the market, makes it a sought-after piece among collectors. I've seen instances where collectors willingly paid a premium for well-preserved specimens. For those of you interested in collecting or investing in coins, here are some tips. First, educate yourself about the coin's history and the factors influencing its value. Second, consider consulting with reputable numismatists or attending coin shows to expand your knowledge and network within the community. And there you have it, folks. The 1871 Victoria Queen Half Penny Token is not just a coin, it's a piece of history that continues to captivate collectors worldwide. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of numismatics, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have an extraordinary piece to discuss, the 1843 Victoria Queen One Cent Coin. Get ready to dive deep into the history, rarity, and most importantly, the incredible value of this iconic coin. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button, so you never miss out on our numismatic adventures. Let's get started. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the coin itself. The 1843 Victoria Queen One Cent coin is a true gem, with its intricate design and historical significance. On the obverse, we have the regal profile of Queen Victoria, while the reverse showcases the iconic seated Britannia. It's a captivating piece that truly captures the essence of its era. To truly understand the value of this coin, we must delve into the historical context of the time. In 1843, Queen Victoria was in the early years of her reign, and the British Empire was flourishing. This coin was minted during a period of significant economic and industrial growth, making it a unique and sought-after piece for collectors. Now, let's talk rarity. 
The 1843 Victoria Queen one-cent coin comes in various varieties, and some are rarer than others. Look out for any distinguishing features, such as mint marks, die varieties, or errors that could significantly impact the coin's value $10,000. Speaking of minting, this coin was produced in substantial quantities, but finding well-preserved specimens can be a challenge, contributing to its scarcity and desirability among collectors. Now, the burning question, what is the current market value of the 1843 Victoria Queen one-cent coin? Well, the value can vary based on factors like condition, rarity, and overall demand. As of our latest research, a well-preserved, uncirculated specimen can fetch a handsome sum in the market. Keep in mind that values can fluctuate, so it's crucial to stay updated with the latest market trends. To provide us with more insights into the coin's value, we have reached out to numismatic expert, Pawn Star, who has graciously agreed to share their knowledge. Thank you for joining us today, Pawn Star. Can you shed some light on the factors that contribute to the value of the 1843 Victoria Queen one-cent coin? Certainly. The key factors include the coin's condition, rarity, historical significance, and market demand. Collectors often seek coins in pristine condition with minimal wear and unique varieties. Additionally, coins with historical significance, like those minted during notable periods, tend to command higher prices. Fantastic insights! Now, let's discuss the potential investment aspect. Is the 1843 Victoria Queen one-cent coin a good investment for collectors? Absolutely. Given its historical importance and scarcity, this coin has proven to be a solid investment for collectors. However, it's essential to do thorough research and, if possible, consult with experts to make informed decisions. There you have it, folks. The 1843 Victoria Queen One Cent Coin, a remarkable piece of history with significant value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, this coin is undeniably a treasure worth exploring. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and comment below with your thoughts. Until next time, happy collecting!